following the trends, Daniel Schiffer type of filmmaking. Now when I first saw this I was actually mind blown because I mean it looks dope but it definitely looks difficult and I have already tried it before, it was very very hard. So we have made this little environment here, uh, just a couple of lights uh, we found on the spot and uh, we're using the Viltrox light as well and this is gonna be our set pretty much so we'll see how it goes i'm expecting that it's going to be very difficult and i'm going to be failing a lot but hey we learn through trial and error don't we i think the most difficult part about this is the fact that i don't have a concrete plan and i seriously don't have control over any lighting whatsoever i just have this little thing here but i mean other than that i have pretty much no control over this situation which is which kind of sucks but and we're in a rush, we basically have an hour left of shooting and we haven't even begun, so that's gonna be fun. So this is basically how the dish is gonna look like. It's actually not so many processes, so we just need five, six, seven shots. Uh, but those shots really have to be perfect because I'm gonna be doing in-camera transitions, so the movement has to be flawless pretty much, so it's gonna be a fun challenge for myself. <laughs> Satz. It's actually really, really freaking hard. Uh, it's like I had everything planned in my head, but when we started shooting, I realized that it somehow doesn't work from this angle, it should be from another one, and it's kind of like you're fighting with yourself all the time. Sounds. <laughs> Do your job, boy. Do the lighting. This, this scene is actually going to be 100 frames per second, because, I mean, when you're sprinkling stuff, it always looks better you know, as slow as possible, pretty much. So. Left side, so boom, 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 boom. I, I kind of already got warmed up, so I'm feeling the moves, but it's like suddenly when you know that you know he only has one chance, and then he has to clean the dishes and everything, and it takes some time. You don't want to really mess around, and suddenly you just forget one little simple movement at the end, and yeah. But I mean, it's just gonna be so simple, like five shit, uh, five shit, <laughs> five, six, or seven shots, and. That's it. I don't know, I'm super excited about this project. And for those who think, for those who will ask how much did I charge for this, actually zero. Why? Because uh, the Daniel Schiffer type of uh, filming is one of the hardest things I've ever tried, so I'd rather not disappoint the client. Okay, so I think this is around one third done. So it's not bad, it's not bad. It doesn't seem like much, but it's a simple snack. So this is good, this is good. As you saw from the shots, I'm trying to do them kind of minimalistic because I don't want to go too hard because I know that I'm not going to be able to handle it. So, so far, so good. What the English and the Oh man, that look good. That look good. You know what's going to be the best thing? Afterwards, eating that. Valviano? Boom, go. Yes, another one. So yeah, this is a really good way how to piss off clients. Just making them repeat the same move again. Okay, one more time. So this is gonna be an interesting one because I, I pretty much have one chance not to fuck this up. So it's gonna be quite interesting. We're putting ice cream on this majestic plate. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm getting a little bit worried, but I mean, that's what I chose to do. Okay. Yes, 
Vēl reiz, vēl reiz. Sāc. Sāc. Just getting some uh, safety shots, just in case uh, you know the, all those creative things I did didn't work out. I'm just gonna include some really basic shots, which is not what I want, but I mean, I still want to deliver something to the client. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, honestly, this was very difficult. The focusing, especially like I usually don't like those. Um, focus pulling systems but I do realize that it would come in handy here honestly uh, okay yeah. give me the macro rings so this is gonna be the fun part um, these are the macro rings and when it comes to static shots they're easy to do but when it comes to moving shots holy shit it's difficult so plus I don't want to like dip my lens into the food so I kind of have to be a little bit careful but it looks pretty cool so far so Definitely not 1.4 aperture. That's like hell. All right, let's let's see. I'm so dipping my lens. The sauce. Yeah, it's like you literally have to stick the lens in the food. I dipped my lens. So my final thoughts about this shoot, how did it go, was it fun, was it something I was expecting I would manage? And was it fun? So-so. I mean, it's fun experimenting, but it's kind of stressful because, uh, I don't know, it's, it's like, you know that if you mess up one scene, all the other ones will be kind of messed up as well? Uh, was it, did I learn a lot? <laughs> I mean, not really. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't really learn much. I, I guess I just understood that uh, I need to work with manual focus way more. Um, and I kind of need to practice following subjects with the camera in manual focus because that's goddamn difficult. And um, I mean, this was an easy snack. I cannot imagine how Daniel Schaefer films people making pizzas and stuff because. Holy shit, that's probably so difficult. So, yeah, just wanted to say thank you so much, Daniel Schiffer, for the inspiration. Seriously, you show, you have showed a lot of people um, brand new techniques, and you cannot imagine how many people are trying out your stuff now. So, thank you so much for the inspiration. And I know I'm copying you right now, but I mean, that's exactly why you probably made the video so people could try out your techniques and uh, spice them up a little, uh, spice them up a little bit. Anyway. Yeah, let's get to the editing room, shall we? When it comes to the final edit, my main goal was to just get more comfortable with the manual focus and with the camera movement. And even though I didn't uh, add a lot of those crazy Daniel Schiffer transitions, I just didn't feel comfortable adding them yet. I just wanted to kind of feel the camera a bit more, but I can't say I'm very proud of the final result, but it, it did actually teach me a couple of things, especially not to use 1.4 aperture when filming this kind of stuff, rather just keep it 2.8 or even lower. But other than that, this was definitely good practice and hopefully this company will want to cooperate with me again because uh, I wouldn't mind trying something like this uh, one more time, honestly. This was actually a pain in the ass.